It's Friday night. Spread that towel out. Lather on the suntan oil. Crack a cold one, cause the surf is up, LA. Clap your hands, LA, cause we're gonna sesh out with just your average all American Jewish lesbian folk singer, Frank. This is one of the machines, Grandma's machines over there. This one is a new machine. That, the benefit to this one is that this pulls off and you can do the sleeve yeah, and you can do slide the... Slide it on. Yeah. Slide it on. You've, so done so, you've done sewing in your day. Yeah. You're a sewer, right? All right. Where's your part? So you grew up in... Uh, Mar Vista. You grew up in Mar Vista. Across the street from Mar Vista Elementary. You know, I used to think... How could anybody not surf? And then, you know, I had kids and got caught up and stuff, and I started surfing less and less. I used to come and set my chair up on the other side, the, at the wall, but on the other side, yeah. you know, the other side, and I'd set my chair up there and I'd just be there all day. It's just like it was part of when the women's movement was just kicking into gear, and it yeah. was before there was LGBT anything. There was just G. It was just gay. There wasn't even an L yet. There was because lesbians really weren't included. It was the it was the gay services center. It wasn't the lesbian and gay services center. Then I went up to um, San Francisco when I was in seventy. back to LA and I wanted to be in a band. I just wanted, that's all I wanted to do is be in a band and so I just get dressed every night, put on my little suit and tie and go out to a show and try to look cool. <laughs> and somebody came up to me and said, hey man, you want to be in a band? It's really fun to be on a stage with so many luminaries from the LA underground scene. Frank, Petey, and Tequila. It's a great time in that band. That's all in the decline of Western civilization. Yeah. That's like yeah. 1979, L.A. punk rock. My first solo show, I think, was 80 at Club 88, mm. which was on Pico. Club 88, Music Machine. You guys probably don't know those places. I right? remember Music Machine. Punk rock's just for music that's fast and loud. You know, it's the music that tells the stories. You know? documents what's going on. Mm -hmm. I uh, came out in 1985. I had already recorded it with the $1,200 I saved from teaching swimming and lifeguarding for the city of Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went into Radio Tokyo Studios, which was on Abbott Kinney, mm -hmm. um, right near where the pizza place is now. Greg Lee from the bags and Ethan James helped me put it out. And they helped me record it. And then Gary Stewart from Rhino uh, said he would put it out. So that came out on Rhino Records in 1984. It means a little more to me. Cause I'm a Jewish lesbian, you see, and fascism isn't anarchy. moments that I'll never forget like being opening for them in Paris and you know you go see the Pogues play the entire audience is shit faced before they even come on stage and and then you can only imagine coming to see the Pogues and then there's Frank <laughs> <laughs> so it's Paris it's packed it's I can't remember the place we played it's some big old fantastic place sold out. People are wasted. They're just wrecked. And I walk onto the stage <laughs> to open up. Right. So they started lighting shit on fire and trying to throw it into the hole of my guitar. <laughs> they were so pissed. And they just kept yelling shit in French, basically, fuck you. <laughs> and throwing, and it's funny now, they're throwing coins and lighting things on fire and trying to get them into the sound hole of my guitar. <laughs> 
And now a word from our sponsor. Oh, moje nogi bolą tak strasznie. Ja muszę mieć wens. Vans is in the making. <laughs> dobre, dobre, kupujcie Vans. <laughs> tak, tak. So what do you think of Los Angeles, California? I love it. It's my hometown. People say, how can you live here? And I say, well, you know, I can go home and I can surf. <laughs> it doesn't matter what day it is or what the weather's like. TV, original production.